Okay. This is the produce that we picked up from Piggly Wiggly. And we have uh, dumped all the salads out and gotten all of the uh, plastic out of the uh, different things. And so what he's going to do now is, is dump it into the uh, produce bin. Now you can see all the salads. Yeah, he's going to spread that out a little bit and chop that head of cabbage over there. Okay, he's now going to dump the next box in. And this is about, uh, probably about a hundred pounds of produce, and fruits, vegetables, salads, collards, all kinds of things that were a uh, waste, that was scraps from the produce department at our local store. Now some of these I've already chopped up earlier. Okay, you can see all the chopped up collards and what have you that are in there. Now he's gonna spread that out. You can see the tomatoes. And I think there's some peaches in there from, and there's a cucumber, which is still in the wrapper. We're gonna have to take that out. It's a wrapper we forgot to take off. Okay, you can see that there's not a whole lot of uh, chopping that has to be done when you get the stuff in the plastic bags that's already chopped up. It makes it a lot easier. All right, he's now um, going to put the next layer on, which will be topsoil from somewhere out here in the yard. Um, those microorganisms are going to be living in the top three inches of the soil. So he's going he's gonna to get some soil ready to go on the top of that. Now, while he's doing that, I'm going to go over here and show you the other produce composting oh. bin. And this is a compost bin that's right next to the to the one he's working on. Now this one was all the way up at the top just a, about a month ago. And this produce bin has been layered with all of the produce from our local store for about six months. And I'm going to go down here and hopefully you can see the different layers that are there. See it all the way to the bottom. And then we've got our little door here that we use that will slide up and down. And we'll take that out when we get ready to empty this, this bin. We're probably going to empty this bin maybe next week. And I'm going to pan over here and show you the garden. Now we've got some a couple of fig trees growing up there. But I hope you can see the three different rows that are here. Now we've got some weeds, of course, which would come up naturally in the early part of the winter. But these three rows contain all the compost for six months from our local Piggly Wiggly. All right, we're going to pan back around now. So this is produce composting bin number two that he's working on. And what he's going to do is get some of this topsoil. See, so he's got a shovel full now. He's going to take it back over here, and he is sprinkling that in. Now, he is sprinkling in those microorganisms that are going to uh, decompose this green stuff that you see in the bin. And we're going to come back over. Just getting another shovel full.
and he's just sprinkling it on. You don't have to put a whole lot. It doesn't have to be two or three inches. It's just got to be enough that the, uh, the microorganisms are in there, and they're going to be what eats up this stuff. Now I think he's going to get more dirt. And there's our dog, Grabo. He's going to get a little bit more dirt. And you see he's taking the dirt from those rows where the compost is. You can see how dark that dirt is. He is just skimming it off the, the top three inches of the soil. Okay. So now I think he's probably going to put on a brown layer. And that brown layer is going to come from over behind the bin. You'll see he's going to come on around the, the, the bin here and get one of the bags. And these bags contain the brown material that's going to make up the third layer. And these are leaves that we raked up during the fall and also probably some grass is included in that. So he's going to open up that bag and dump it in. He's probably not going to dump very much because it doesn't take much. <laughs> walk back around so y'all can see this better. Okay, you see how, how brown that is? This is called our brown layer. And as you can see from that, there's some grass in it and there's some uh, brown leaves, but all of it is brown and dry. Now he's going to come back around and uh, rake that out evenly over this pile. And because of the way this is layered, there will never be any odor whatsoever in here. When you're composting, the thing to remember is you will want uh, the green layer then shoveling the dirt over it and then the brown layer and he looks like he's gonna probably need a little more brown on that but it's pretty well covered up so as long as you layer it like this you're getting the uh, aerobic action which is the bacteria that uh, needs oxygen to decompose all of this Okay, now he's just about finished. Looks to me like he's going to probably get a little more brown to go on that. And this time he's going to go over there and get some leaves that were raked up in the yard. Yeah, he's going to need a little bit more leaves. Now this, you see the two compost bins? This one right here was the one that contained six months of scrap produce from our local grocery store. And then the three rows I showed you in the garden contained the other six months. So with, within this backyard, we can handle all of the produce from from one store we could probably handle it from two stores now this this second bin here we call it our south bin this is our north bin in the south bin we have uh, been 
putting in the produce from yet another store so so that contains some of our local produce and a lot of produce from another store so Pretty well got it there all right so that's about it then um i want to back off so you can see the this doesn't take up a whole lot of room now right here we have my neighbor's garage and over here you have our very old garage and of course there's our house now these compost bins when they're layered properly and you get the aerobic action with the bacteria then you really don't get any odor whatsoever you also do not get any bugs of any kind or every once in a while we'll see some little fruit flies uh, but but mostly not now of course it's February now and so this compost bin right here was filled up all the way to the top and we stopped putting um, compost in this one about the first of December so you can see how far it's shrunk down and the reason for that is is because the fruits and vegetables contain 80 to 90 percent water so all that water just evaporates some of it will probably drain into the ground but this is why this works with with just one store and one backyard you can prevent all of this produce scraps from going to the landfill and you'll also enrich the people's soil that do the composting again let me see if i can get down close and maybe you can see the different layers now we've had a lot of rain the past two or three days so it looks a little wet there on the bottom if you can notice and of course our wires bulged out a little bit but anyway again there's the brown leaf bags that we use as our brown layer and these are all the leaves and grass from our yard this fall and there's a good view of the second one that he's working on now and these both are hooked together now one person could do this with one grocery store in one backyard and one compost bin. Now this compost bin measures four by four by three foot tall. And of course it's sitting directly on the ground. Okay, I hope this helps to explain how we do the produce scraps composting.